Hi, it's John here. Now there was a chap in America, Abraham Maslow, and in about 1940s he came up with this idea, the hierarchy of motivational needs. Obviously it's to do with psychology, and what he, this was a five-stage pyramid, and what his idea was that you started off with basic needs, full, trying to fulfill basic needs, that was your motivation, and then as those basic needs were fulfilled um, you went up the pyramid and tried to fulfill higher needs. So the basic needs um, at the bottom here, physiological needs uh, for water, food, shelter and warmth. Right, so I mean that could be said to be a human right couldn't it, to uh, have those things. Um, it's not rocket science to, that the people need that, is it? So um, that is your motivation first. If you haven't got that to start with, um, that's what you're trying to get. <coughs> and then once that is fulfilled, his idea was that we need uh, the need that we'll be looking for then is safety, security, stability, and freedom from fear. Um, I'm getting the feeling here of being a sort of um, a wayfarer, a, a tramp, you know, a homeless person. Ah, what we need first is these water, shelter, and then we need safety. Now we've got to keep our eye out, you know. Um, have, a, have a dog that's going to um, attack people and keep us safe. And then, here, here we get here we get a real society type one, isn't it? Um, belonging. Uh, oh, belonging, here we are. Belonging. Now this is a little bit different from a, from a wayfarer or a tramp. Um, the need for love. Friends, family, spouse, a lover. Now this is where I would say the modern society um, it gets a bit of a log jam. Because there's so many people out there who are so insular, so afraid of everybody else, that um, they don't quite get to this stage um, that's my opinion anyway. I think you've got to be rather open and uh, and um, make yourself a bit available to, to reach this stage, not be too defensive. Um, if, I mean, I'm not saying this is a proper hierarchy anyway, I mean it's all gobbledygook clearly. Now the next one he says, once you've got your lover, then, um, then, then you gain self-esteem and achievement and achievement, mastery, recognition and respect. Um, right, now this would be, I would say, when you become a sort of real person, when you think you are a real person. Um, this is one of my things, there's a lot of people who, who don't think they are a real person, so they're, they're striving to do something. If I do that, if I buy that, then I'll be a real person and I shall be able to actually live and uh, then we get to the top one on Maslow's needs, self-actualization. Pursue inner talent, creativity and fulfillment. Mm. Mm. Now there's all sorts of ways one could, one could um, think of self-actualization. Um, but I, I, it leaves me a little bit, I mean, a bit blank actually. Um, if we say that life is a journey, um, you, you're always journeying on, aren't you? I mean, how many people do you come across who, who are self-actualized, as they say, you know? Um, and who would these people be? You know, David Cameron, you know, our Prime Minister, is he self-actualized? Actualized? What about uh, the Queen? She's self-actualized? Um, you know, it's a bit of a myth really, isn't it? self-actualization. What about uh, the Dalai Lama? Is he self-actualized? No, I don't. I, I'm not coming across any self-actualized people. Yeah, you know, okay, there's, you, you meet some people who, who do have some skills and you can make use of, but uh, actual people who are head and shoulders above the rest of the gang, I'm, I haven't met any. If you do know of any, just list them below. Right, there we have it. The 
five stage Maslow hierarchy of needs. Now this has been elaborated on by other people, probably all Americans, um, but uh, this is the, uh, the basic one. Right, bye for now.